According to a very quick Google search, roughly 19.2 million people suffer from a fear or a phobia. For as long as I can remember, I have suffered from anthropophobia, which is the fear of people. My name is Braxton Jeremiah Jr., and this is my story. I was never a very social kid. I was bullied a lot in school, especially when I refused to tell kids my name because they were just going to ruin my legacy. They thought I was paranoid. The worst was when they would force me to raise my elbow so that they could just slap my hand. And, uh, I tried to take it to the principal, but nobody would listen to me. Oh, that's just called a high five they said. My dad always told me never to listen to anybody who disagreed with me. He said everybody is a snake. I think that's pretty accurate. In high school, I found my passion, video games. I played all the time. You name the game, I played it. RuneScape, Call of Duty, Zelda. I played everything. I loved it. My teachers tried to tell me that I couldn't make money playing video games. When I told them there were snakes, they expelled me. But hey, more time to pursue my passion. <laughs> One day my parents walked into my room where I was playing RuneScape and they made me take off my headphones and they told me they didn't approve of how much time I spent playing video games. It's a real shame. I, I really liked them, but I guess a snake is a snake no matter how they're related to you. 2010 was the year I decided never to speak to another living soul ever again. Oh sure, I'd talk to people. I'd, you know, text them and Facebook message them and but never talk face to face and if you tried to call me I'd unfriend you on social media so fast one day I was spending my standard 22 hours online when I came across this list of phobias it changed my life when I saw anthropophobia the fear of people it made perfect sense of course I had this this phobia if only I had known that I had this phobia from the beginning I would have had so many excuses to avoid people. It, it would have been great. I thought about going to the doctor to make sure I had anthropophobia. But then I realized that anyone with this fear would not have the nerve to go see a doctor. So I uh, decided to scroll through Instagram instead. Today I'm 20 years old, and I'm living my dream. For all of you out there who have anthropophobia, do like me and avoid the snakes. It's a whole lot easier to argue with them on Facebook than to talk to them in person. I feel for you, I really do. It's, uh, it's not easy. Sometimes you just gotta claim the victim card and move on with your life. That's what I'm doing. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some nothing to get back to.